What's up bullish friends, hope you guys are doing well today. And in this video, I wanna show you how you can easily do your first swap on Uniswap. Now I'm gonna take you through a little tutorial that is going to make this super simple and we're going to go through it step by step. Now the first thing you need to do, you need to have MetaMask. So if you don't have MetaMask, you need to, you need to grab that. And you can go through my tutorial on MetaMask if you haven't used that before and you need to learn how to get MetaMask and install networks onto MetaMask and do all the things you need to do, you will find that link in the description to where you can get started with this. Now, the first thing you need to do after you have MetaMask is you need to be over at uniswap.org. Okay, and you can see that in my browser. I will also put a link in the description below to make sure you're going to the right place. And then you wanna launch the app. Now, once you launch the app, you're gonna to come to a page that looks like this. The next thing you need to do, you need to make sure you're logged into your MetaMask in your extension and then you need to simply connect to Uniswap. So you need to connect MetaMask. Just select MetaMask. It's gonna pull this up and it's gonna ask you if you want to connect to it. Just hit next. It will take you to a connect page. Just click connect. And then it will show you that it's connecting. Boom, we are now connected to Uniswap. Now you just need to decide what tokens you wanna to swap for. Now, one of the easiest things to swap for on Uniswap is just using Ethereum to swap for the token that you want. Now, if you don't know the ticker symbol or the contract address for the token that you wanna swap for, it's really easy to find. You just need to go over to coingecko.com uh, and I will put the link in the description below for that. Find the coin that you want. In this case, we're gonna use Alchemy because it's a coin that I like and the ticker symbol for that is ADS. Now, you can search over in this Uniswap interface for that particular coin. I could just type in ADS, and then I would need to make sure I find the one that corresponds to that. But if you wanted to be extremely safe, you could just grab this contract address right here under the info column. And again, it's got the little Ethereum icon, so that lets us know it's on the Ethereum chain, and just click that to copy, okay? So now we copied that address, and you are able to come over here and you can go to select token that you wanna to exchange to and just paste that address in, okay? And it's gonna tell us what that is. That's Alchemy Exchange, ADS, that's exactly what I want. Just click that and it now shows you that you're exchanging Ethereum for ADS. And if you wanted to go the op opposite way, you could just swap them, okay? So if you had another coin you wanted to swap to Ethereum, you could just swap them. But we, want, we just want Ethereum to ADS. Now we need to decide how much we wanna swap for. So in this case, I'm just going to swap, let's see, let's do 0 0.015 Ethereum, it's 28 bucks roughly. And what you always wanna look for during this swap is look at the gas fees and look what you're paying for your gas fees. Now, typically this is a high percentage of what you're swapping, so I typically wouldn't do this. The way you can save on this fee is just swap more okay and what i mean by that is let me just give you a little demonstration here let's say you wanted to swap one entire ethereum okay that's about 18 what is that 1876 dollars the fee only went up by about two dollars on that so it's only six dollars and 48 cents to swap almost two thousand dollars worth of tokens <laughs> so you're not paying that much more to swap a larger amount. So I don't recommend doing super, super tiny swaps on Uniswap because the fees will eat you alive. But just for the sake of doing this tutorial, I am still going to do a swap. So 0.15, just so I can show you how to do this. Now, all you need to do is once this comes up here, you can just go down to the swap button. And the longer you sit here, the fee will keep changing too, because it keeps updating in real time. So you want to go ahead and do the swap and it's going to, again, tell you what your network fee is, so 473, and just confirm that swap. It's going to pull up your MetaMask, and it's gonna have you approve that swap. It's gonna show you what your total expense is. So I'm paying $28.16 plus $5.53 in gas fees. Just confirm that. It's, gonna, it's going to show that it's submitted, and up here in the corner, you can see that it's pending, and soon this will update and show that it has gone through. Okay, this is updated and now shows that it's a success, so this should now show in my wallet. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to take a look at this in your MetaMask wallet. So you just go into your MetaMask wallet, 
And now you can see that this token right now is not showing up in my wallet. So we need to make this show up. Super simple way to do is just go over back to CoinGecko and you wanna go back to this info area and contract address and you wanna just click add to MetaMask. You click add to MetaMask, it will tell you that you're going to add that. Just click add token. And now I will show you inside MetaMask and we will go to tokens, there you go. I now have uh, that token inside my MetaMask. So that's how you can see, I had a little bit before this, like 120 some ADS tokens already sitting in this wallet. But that's, so you can see basically, that's all you need to do to get that token added to your wallet. Now usually over on Uniswap, after you make a swap, it will ask you, it'll pop up a little box down here that will say, do you wanna add this to your wallet? It didn't do it for me that time, so if you run into the same issue, again, just go over to CoinGecko, boom, there you go. Now one way to save on fees is to do your transactions in the off hours. And for me, that could be something like three, four o'clock in the morning. And you can always go over to CoinGecko and you can see roughly where the gas fees are gonna be. Like right now, the GUE is at uh, 29, which is not super high, but it can still add up. So you could let this get a little lower. And a lot of times that happens in the off hours. When the networks get congested, this can be extremely high and that's when your fees are super high and you don't want to make transactions during that point especially not on ethereum because ethereum is a nightmare on transactions it will that the fees will just eat you alive now one thing i do want to show you here too is you can actually swap on different chains using a uh, uniswap you can select that up here if you want to do po polygon uh, cello bnb arbitrum or optimism now if you don't know how to add these networks to your metamask to be able to interact with these again go watch my metamask tutorial i show you how to add a network to your metamask if you ever need to interact with these other chains on here and that is it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed this, give me a like, give me a subscribe. If you have any questions on how to do this, shoot me a question below. I'll do my best to answer that for you and stay bullish, my friends.